Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more City Skylines Mass Transit in our new Ravenna mini-series. So this is our city so far. Things have been going pretty well. I mentioned in, in the end of the last episode, I've got just a ton of money and uh, things are have, <laughs> ever since I raised taxes up to 11% from 9, uh, things have been going very, very well, which is kind of a first for me. Resisted doing it earlier in the series because I never really felt the need to do that uh, in past you know, playthroughs of, of Skylines, but um, seeing its effects has definitely converted me a little bit. I mean, it's just a stark, stark increase in income, so I really want to take advantage of that wherever possible. So I want to go ahead and build in a, um, a secondary road here like I have in some of my other spots. Let's see, can we, can I do that? Nope, can't do it on account of that little bend. Hmm... I could perhaps do it this way. Is that how far I've... Hang on, let me check some of the other spots where I've done it. I think I did it over... Have I... Yeah, I did it here. Yeah, that's right. It was just one one space apart from that. So, let's see here. Again, we're just trying to create side roads, really. Um, maybe what I'll do... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Let's have an intersection kind of starting here. Only not an actual intersection. No, this space is not already occupied. Don't lie to me, game. There we go. There we go. All right, that's what I wanted to do. And we're going to start having the side roads from that point forward. We we had a little a little stretch here where that wasn't actually happening. But as I continue to zone in this direction and fill out this part, I really want to fill up this square with development in the next little while. But uh, I just want to make sure that that formula was kind of in place, that that design system for the roads was was in place, because I think it's going to be important. So, let's also... Oh, what do we have here? Oh, hello! Didn't even see you there. Uh, we have a railway riding into town. So, we will be able to actually start building on that. Um, we probably need to take a second... Well, I, damn it. Well, that's going to change my plans slightly. One thing I could do, once I am able to buy that tile... I can do things that are a little bit more creative with, like, where it comes into town. I could actually have it cross over right here, which could be useful. Because this is a residential area. I don't know that I want to have a, a, a railroad. The only, the only difference I might make is if I were to go ahead and just do... Hang on. Well, let's take a second to look at this. That's the metro. Train. Yeah, that. Okay, we can't do train tracks yet because we don't have a train station. Ironically. So what we could do is, if I wanted to do a train station, which I could do, we could put one right here and have it riding into town and then build that into our mass transit options as well. We already have monorail, so this would be slightly different from that. I'd want to have it... I mean, we do have these parks here that are separating it from the residential district. So why don't we try this? This is... I did not plan this. Like, I literally just noticed this wall. I have been recording just the first few moments of this episode. So, nope, let's use this instead. Yeah, there we go. All right, so if we do that, now we can actually build train tracks. It's wonderful. All right, so now it's just kind of coming straight into town. Now, this is going to be a residential area, I think, still. Um, or I might break it up slightly now that we have this train uh, line going through here. But one thing I also need to do, let's go ahead and... We're not going to do monorail lines just yet, but let me select monorail. No, it's this guy. There we go. And is it... Uh, yeah, it's this road that I want. So we're going to do some upgrades here. main reason I want to do this, again, I'm not going to actually have any monorail coming down this way just yet. We will eventually. But I want to be able to see exactly what this is going to do as far as the need for train tracks to go either under or over those monorails. I actually think going under the road would be best if I can swing it. Let's see what we can do. Let's go back to train. And it looks like these are one-way tracks. Nice to know. We're not going to do anything too special, I don't think, with these just yet, but... Yeah, the slope is too steep. If I were to... Ironically, if I were to remove that road that I just painstakingly put in, 
then I could, yep, yep, that would allow me to do it precisely. I do kind of like the idea of going underneath the road. So here's what we're going to do. No, 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 I just, I, all I want is to leave that stretch of road. There we go. And it counts as a refund. Again, since we just built it for the first time, it counts as a refund, which is nice. All right, so, yeah, we need to have you go here. And then we're going to have you, it looks like... Interesting. Why is it saying the slope is too steep on this side when it's the exact same? Okay. We're going to do something a little bit different because this game is lying right now. Let's see. Can we now... Don't lie, game. The slope is not too steep. You're doing the exact same thing on the other side of the road. This game is a liar. All right. Oh, wait, no, actually, it's not a liar. We are one tile too far away. So what I need to do, actually, is do something like this. I'm going to refund it all in a second, but I'm just trying to... No, 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 I don't I don't want any curving. No, don't, don't do... Why would you... All right. I understand what you're trying to do, but you're not helping me at all right now, game. You're not. This is all for the sake of science. <laughs> I want to measure to that exact spot. Perfect. That's what I wanted you to do the first freaking time. That is a lie. That is a dirty lie. That is the exact same slope as the other side of the cliff. Or the other side of the road. What is happening? That's so strange. Why would it be different? I mean, I guess... I, I mean, I can have it come up at... at the angle that the game accepts, but why wouldn't it be symmetrical? Why wouldn't it be the exact same? Yeah, see, it's completely different on that side. It's going to take up more room, which was the point. Like, I didn't want it to, but okay. So we're just going to have to go with that. The game's going to make us. And then, really quickly, we, of course, need to have the roads. We can't have the roads going, um... Yeah, let's go to about there. Interesting, so... We need, to, we need to back up just a little bit. Start there. Actually, yeah, if I just do a basic slope starting there, go across, and then over the same distance, have it slope back. Well, no. Now I need to measure this precisely. Yeah, that's what I want. So it's not exactly pretty, but it's kind of an adaptation to the sudden presence of these train tracks that will ultimately, I think, give our city some even more robust transit options in the future. So again, we're not going to build this in just yet, but I want to go ahead and have the infrastructure in place. So we'll have to kind of, we'll have to kind of keep that in mind. I'm not going to build all the way out that far just yet, but let's go ahead and have a look at where else we can add some residential zones. Now, we've got this whole section here that hasn't been zoned yet. It also doesn't have the um, the side roads in the same way that this further section down does because we, we built these schools. So, there's different ways to look at it. I could... We could still do side roads just spaced somewhat differently. One option is... Actually, yeah, we could do, we could do a side road here same as elsewhere and then just zone this with let's keep it low density just give people additional houses and I don't want to do anything else here but I am tempted I think one thing that would be useful here as far as a transport option are you gonna come straight through no but you should hmm oh wait no there's still a uh... All right, we need to go right there Perfect. So yeah, if we do that, then there's actually a connecting road where people don't have to get on the highway. If they just, for instance, if someone's coming from the cemetery, or if they just, if for whatever reason they need to have that extra road, that would be handy, I think, for them to have. And then we could do additional services in that area as needed. So, I think we had just built some new, that's right, we just built some new, uh, new zoning around here. And as a matter of fact, we don't need these power lines anymore because the zones have started to develop. 
I was looking forward to that very much. All right, so that has happened. We want to have additional zoning. Maybe what I'll do is I'll keep building residential stuff out on this side of the tracks, and I'll have it be higher density. Again, we're not going to do anything crazy yet with regard to the trains. We're not. I'm just spacing right now. There we go. Is that the right? That looks like it's actually longer than it should. Yep, that's more than it should be. Lies. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just the same amount of distance on the, on the other side of the tracks there. That's what I was interested in. So we could also, we could go ahead and do a bridge here. Well, no, I don't think we need to. I think we could probably do one here and be fine with that. So let's go ahead and put the road all the way down that direction. And then could I maybe? Why are you not letting me? You'll let me do an intersection there, but not in the other spot. Okay. All right. So that's the spot where people can cross over. And then we're going to have some high density zoning starting right here. Let's have a, again, we've got plenty of roads. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up. Yeah, that's not the best location for that intersection. And that's why. I really don't like that. Hang on. There's probably a better spot that we can put that. So if we go here... Hmm. Well, I suppose one thing I could do... is something like this. It's not ideal. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. It's not pretty, but it serves the same purpose. And it forces the lines to road up and... Uh, to, to, it forces the roads to line up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say in the correct way on the opposite side of the tracks. Okay. That's that. And then, of course, we have this section here. And let's go ahead and do this section here, followed by monorail road. And we will eventually, we'll probably do monorail for this new section this episode because we want to have a new route for people to find their way. We want to be able to get people that live in this new high-density area we're about to build. We, we want to get people rapidly down the tracks uh, and into the main part of the city. So we'll have to start a new line soon-ish. But first, let's see. Yep, with the monorail line and all the way down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. Now that is one of the higher order skyscrapers in the game. So we're starting to get some truly tall residential buildings spawning as a result of just the number of people living in the city. And by the way, just to reiterate this, I occasionally have commenters ask me, hey, why do you pause the game so much? It's because, number one, I like to make infrastructure decisions without the simulation continually ticking forward. And number two, when you are commentating at the same time as playing, uh, it, it takes up a... a a, a, a surprising amount of, of mental focus and your ability to, or the, the, the likelihood that you will miss things as a result of that uh, goes up a lot. So that's kind of why I, I pause a good bit because I don't want to miss things while I'm really focusing on building out a, a large section of new infrastructure like I'm doing right now. And purely because, you know, I, it was just, you know, a, a split attention, like, oh yeah, we, we can't cross that line actually just yet. We'll be able to soon, so we can do more residential out in that area. But that's a pretty good little start, I think. Now another thing we're going to have to do... So yeah, that's, that's why I tend to pause so much. Let's see... You... Actually, no, we can do even better than that. There we go. Let's do that. Perfect. So that's all watered. Now, we don't have a ton of water availability, so I would imagine that once these new homes start, to develop, start developing, we're going to run into a little bit of a problem with that. So now, before we unpause and unleash these new residents onto their homes, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at what our options might be monorail-wise for these residents. Now, right now, we don't have a means for them to get to the main road, so we need to fix that quickly. All right, the game is lying that and there's that perfect 
All right, so they can get to the main road now. And another thing I'll probably like to do is go ahead and build a monorail station. We've got the money for it. All right. We could do a metro monorail train hub in this area as well, which is going to be really cool. So this would be... We could actually put it here in place of... Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, this actually isn't isn't a bad idea. We might eventually replace the train station. This connects metros, monorails, and trains so the passengers can change between transport types inside the building. So I'm sure it'll count as a train station as well. But I mean, look at this thing. So there's two train tracks and two... Hang on. Let me just build this really quickly and look at it. Yeah, it's two train tracks... Yeah, we don't get a full refund for it. <laughs> Lame. Just give me the full money back. But yeah, there's two train tracks and two monorail tracks. So eventually we might we might convert this to be that. For now, we're not going to. But that's very handy to know that, that exists. So we're going to do a couple of things transportation-wise and then just unleash these new residents upon their homes. Let's see. Let's go monorail. And then monorail station with the road, like so. That's probably the way to go. So let's go ahead and delete a stretch of road long enough to put this thing in place. Like that. That's perfect. Do we want it any closer? Actually, you know what? I think we can do it even closer. Why not do that? Let's go ahead and have it connecting with the intersection. Just like that. Oh, it's perfect. Amazing. All right. So now we've got that set up, and we'll eventually have it go farther. But, oh yeah, we also need to rezone this. All right, so that's that. Now let's do a couple of things transportation-wise. We need to set up some monorail lines. We're going to create a new line starting here. And, hang on, let's make this, make sure this is connected. It is connected, very good. So we need to do a couple of lines. We're going to start here. And we can have you stop at this station, but I actually would prefer that you just come down to this stop next. And then why don't you swing through that stop. We're going to do a couple of lines. Swing through that stop that stop and then can you where would you have to go no it would it would go straight it would curve there and go down to this one so we're going to complete that line there that's one but let's do another one create a new line and then you're going to go hmm what would be the best way to do this so that line is going that way we could have another line that goes straight into town this way for instance, they could go, if they wanted to go straight towards the shopping areas of town, they could go around the outer edge of town. And then curve back in. Yep, then stop there and complete the line. Perfect. Now, one more thing that I want to do before I unpause. We talked about this extensively in the comments, the, this whole nature, this, this whole question of, you know, do bus routes go both ways? And obviously they do. And the, I think the best thing to do for these new, um, well, let's see, we could start a lane. I guess we can just start some, some routes. We don't need to create another bus depot. Uh, but I think the best thing to do would be to start a route. Let's see. Yeah, we can create a new line like out here at the edge of the industrial section. And we just, we want to have it going the opposite direction as some of the other stops. So let's have it start, say, like here. And then this will go all the way around, like so. Perfect. And I can kind of use the existing points that I've put stops at to judge where the best spots are. So the point of this line is just to go the opposite direction for all of these citizens that are having to go back and forth from home to work. 
And again, right now we just have bus lines for this initial part of town. Because we want to see how much it changes things. Lots of infrastructure work over the past little while. So I think for, in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have them come straight into the residential area. Interesting. Oh, I see what it's doing. I see what it's doing. You're going to have to loop back around. Yeah, why don't you just loop around that way? It's a little obnoxious, but... Oh, yeah, because of this one-way road, it's really, really obnoxious bus-wise. See what's happening is that they're having to turn around and come down to this way, so we may eventually have to convert those roads to not be one way. Maybe that's a little bit antiquated. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and set the stops up. Well, no, maybe I shouldn't. Tell you what, let's back a few stops. Yeah, I know, you're unhappy about it. I know, believe me. I think the better thing to do would be just to have stops every couple of blocks like this. It's not quite as, uh, as fancy. Definitely not quite as fancy, but... Now, another thing I could do is have them stop briefly on alternating blocks on the way back down. Like this. And then... What we want to do, I think we're just going to have it come straight back and complete the line. We're not going to have it overlap and, and go back this direction in the same way, because we've already got the other, the, the other buses doing that. So now that that is set, let's unpause and see how things are affected by all of this. Let's go to speed two. This should start developing pretty rapidly, I think. We have a decent amount of residential demand and, again, a decent amount of income as well. So let's take a look also at how we're doing with our healthcare. Healthcare availability is great. We can build crematoriums now. Didn't notice that. Or maybe I did and I just forgot, but... Um, It would be smart to go ahead and build some of these. So I guess what I'll do, I can build crematoriums in this same spot. Let's go ahead and have them here. Let's do four for now. All right, so those hearses are going to start heading out. Create a little bit of pollution, which is fun to think about. <laughs> we also build a sauna. We don't have saunas yet anywhere, but we could put a sauna right here. Let's make those people nice and happy. Also, this seems to be a pretty, um, pretty well-to-do area. Why not do a sauna there as well? Okay, looks like the, uh, oh yeah, the monorail station could probably benefit from power and water. Just saying. Best way to do this would be... Okay, I can't... Unfortunately, I can't stick this thing. Well, hang on. If I turn off snapping... I can put a power line there, can't I? No, it's too narrow. All right, so let's turn snapping back on. So what we really need is just for the, the zones to develop here, and then that'll automatically get powered. It's already watered. The game told us a second ago that it's receiving water. But these residents coming in will really help. Let's see. I'd be curious to see. All right, the monorail's already functioning. Are there people on it? Yes, there are. Oh, it's awesome. So they're already jumping on it. Where's it going? Which route which route is this? Are you gonna turn? Ah, oh, it's so cool to see. Still a lot of traffic on this road, despite the fact that we upgraded it. That might be partially due to I mean, again, we're still waiting to see the effects of all of this development on the transport system. Will that count? Yeah, it will. In a second, it's not going to be needed. We can do a blimp depot. <laughs> 
if I wanted to. We're not going to just yet. We can also do taxis as a way for people to get around. Now, yeah, we have to do taxi stands. So we would have to set up routes for those as well. Now, if the skyscraper has come into place, that's great to see. We're starting to get some commercial demand pop, popping up, which means those zones, which we've already set up, will really start popping into place. Meanwhile, let's also take a look at what we need here. We haven't set up any disaster relief yet. We probably need to go ahead and do that. This tall radio mast would do well at informing the entire city of a problem. Oh, wow, it's really big, though. Hang on. We could do one here if there was a problem. I don't know if I love that, but that would potentially be one of the best spots to have that radio mast, given that curve. Yeah, see if we put it right there. Relatively low intrusion-wise. I mean, it's, it's big and obnoxious. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's giant. But having that thing in the middle of the city means that we can now much more effectively warn our citizens about incoming disasters. We also don't have any kind of shelters. But we could change that as well. We could build shelters in. That's probably not the best place to put it, though. We need to have shelters along major thoroughfares, maybe even along highways. Maybe some shelters. Can I do one? Oh, yes, I can. Holy crap. Hmm. Yeah, we could do one here. It would really... I would, I would need to create a means for people to... This is a $74,000 emergency shelter. Let's go ahead and do that. This will house how many citizens? 10,000. And currently our population is 23,601. So it's not going to hold everybody. But it's a start. Now the earthquake, earthquake sensor we have already built. It's right there. Which covers a lot of the city. Oh, hi. We have a lot of abandoned buildings. Let's fix that really quickly. While I'm looking at it. Oh, and another one. So it looks like the issue... Lots of upgrading happening. I wonder why the upgrade is happening. Possibly just the disaster relief? What's going on here? Look at this. All these industry upgrades. What has just happened here? It couldn't be... I've never seen I've I've never seen it happen that rapidly. All right, nice. We've reached the Grand City milestone, which means we finally have access to the third tier loan, as well as the ability to build a solar power plant. So we've got a very rapidly growing population. I just don't know why that industrial explosion just happened. All right, so they are really needing workers, and I think the problem we're starting to run into is that some of these, I mean, the workers just aren't educated enough. That's really what the issue is, I think. Let's let's have a quick look at what this indicator is saying. Yeah, not enough workers. So that's partially a lie. Because <laughs> there are plenty of workers. I know there are. Let's see, we can do a water treatment plant now, which would be good to do. Water treatment can process, let's see, 160,000 cubic meters versus 120,000 for a drain pipe. So, let's see. If I do... three of these, it's equal to four of those. So I could go ahead and replace these. How, how expensive are these? 15,000? Yeah, I've got the money for it. This is substantially less. This the, the water treatment plant um, is is much much better for the environment. So I think I want to go ahead and do this while I am thinking about it. Yes, I know. We're gonna build a ridiculous number of these. Well, no, we're actually we're just gonna build the same number of these that we've had of the other time. But the difference being. Perfect. The difference being, these will not pollute as badly as their old friends. 
And then power wise, it looks like we are approaching the point of, let's see this, these, the power output would be 112 to 160 milliwatts or megawatts, <laughs> megawatts, megawatts for the solar power plant. And then 120 for the oil. Yeah, so it seems like a solar power plant would be a good idea to add at this point because it wouldn't add to our pollution problems. We could put it out here where it's not really hurting anything. Actually, yeah, could we put it there? Oh, it'd be awesome if we could put it there. Yes, that's oh, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. It's a perfect spot for it. Granted, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of trash nearby, but that helps a lot. All right, so our oh wait 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 we've got a building that's not watered. That's oh, the emergency shelter of all things. Kind of important. All right, so that should be fixed now. Mark escape routes. When no escape routes are present, the shelter has coverage around it like other service buildings. If you want to control which areas use this shelter, mark an escape route to alter the coverage area. We're going to leave that alone for now. <laughs> At the risk of possibly um, having some huge catastrophe ruin us later. There's some rain coming. This area is already developing quite nicely. Our income has shot up just in the last couple of moments since I've unpaused. Okay, and it looks like we're having a little bit of water availability issues, so another thing I need to do I like the idea of having a tank reservoir. So let's go ahead, first of all, let's just go ahead and do an additional pump. About the same spacing as the others. Like so. But then, how much... Where could we put... Yeah, we could put a tank reserv reservoir in here. Oh man, we can't. It's got to be long ways. So no, it's, it's actually a little bit tougher to manage than that. But maybe, just maybe, we can squeeze it in somewhere in here. Actually, if I were to move the bus depot... If I were to move you... Ooh, look at this. I could actually put the bus depot right there. Yeah, let's do that. And then here's what we're going to do. Yes, that's perfect. Alright, so now we have... Water backup. Okay, and here's our entry point. So let's have you just connect like so. That's beautiful. And now that will store excess water. Right off the river, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we are starting to see a lot of abandoned buildings over here. So I would imagine what's happening is that people are just not... We don't have residential. Um, we don't have residential buildings close enough. So in the next episode, one thing I'm going to have to focus on is finding a way to get residents to these buildings a little bit sooner. But I also think what's happening is, frankly, I think our population is becoming more educated. The highly educated now represent about 20% of the workforce. The well-educated are about 25%. Um, the majority is still made up of the uneducated and the educated, but but these folks are growing. And so these industry-type buildings are going to become less and less viable as workplaces for the population. Let's go ahead and delete a few buildings to get started. Or just not really to get started, but just to have that done before the episode ends. And then some new stuff will come in and develop, and then we'll probably have a few more things abandoned because, again, these guys are all having trouble getting their workers to the uh, to the buildings right now so that's part of the reason we built the transit lines and now we just have to kind of see where we can improve them to where the situation doesn't um, get too out of hand but I do think a large part of it right now is just that the, the education level is improving so there is an elementary school availability problem ironically after everything we've done to ensure that doesn't continue to happen there's still a little, little bit of a problem so I guess one thing I can do here is I can build an additional elementary school and then another high school, which we do need, could come in here as well. If I were to put one here, that would work. Yeah, let's do that for now. And we'll develop the area around it. The nice thing is that also improves the, the value of the area near those citizens. But I can definitely tell that people are taking advantage of, of the monorail. That's good to see. 
yeah, 24 uh, passengers on there. It's not the, the maximum capacity, but you're starting to see people use that. And then what we need to do in the next episode is also do some, some bus routes to this area as well. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one here. In the next one, we're going to focus on how the heck we're going to manage this situation with these particular zones. Because there are a lot of buildings that are bitching endlessly about not having workers. But we don't have residential demand. So what that means is it's not the fact that there aren't people in the city. It's that people are just too far. They're too flippin' far. And there, there needs to be a way to get people here faster. This could be part of the problem, too. It's just this traffic jam. And I don't quite know how best to fix that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people stopping. This is a pretty crazy jam. So let's discuss this in the comments as well. And I will do a little bit of research on my own. Another thing we need to do... Paused it accidentally. Another thing we need to do... I know that right now, these ramps that I added are only servicing one side of the highway. So people coming in... Actually, no. Hang on. Let's look at this. Yeah, people using this ramp or this ramp. Yeah, so they're only servicing this side of the highway. People coming in from this side actually don't have a means to get up here. But I think I can change that. Hang on. Before I end this episode, let me see if I can do this. Because it's a pretty straightforward change. Yeah, highway ramp. Now the question is... Can I... Do a crazy little thing here? No, 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 no. Nope. So this is going to be a little challenging because it's hard to get. We might be able to reorient these ramps. I'll do it in the next step. So we, we might be able to reorient these ramps to where they maybe come out a little bit farther here. And then I can have them branch off and, and lift up and, and then merge with these ramps. We just want people to be able to come on board here from both directions of the highway. So this is going to be a crazy kind of Spider-Man intersection. But it'll work out well for people who wanted to get onto the main highway. And there are definitely people using it. It's nice. So people that are needing to use it as a main thoroughfare are starting to pop up on here. Actually, a decent amount of traffic heading that direction. So, uh, And then people, of course, who need to get around in the main city are doing so as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one here. And the next one, we are going to seriously investigate this issue and continue to work on our road situation while expanding down in this direction. And we don't have a whole lot of demand at the moment. But uh, we've got a whole lot of options when it comes to the different things we can add to the city and continue to make sure that, um, that things are in good shape. So, yeah, see, for instance, there's not a lot of fire protection out here. I could change that right now by adding... Tell you what, let's, let's change that right now. Let's add a fire station there because that area is not developed anyway. And that way all of these cities are going to... All of these buildings are going to be much better protected against fire. But yeah, just stuff like that we're going to continue to focus on next episode. Uh, I kept it paused for a good bit this episode just on account of all the infrastructure development and the train stuff that was happening out there. But next episode, we're going to try and let it run a little bit more and see what kind of problems develop and what kind of problems we can solve as a result of just rapidly growing city. We're sitting at 25,000 population. For the next milestone, we need to, re we need to reach 36,000. We'll be able to purchase new land. We'll be able to have ships. Harbors, cargo harbors, it, you know, things are just going to continue getting better and better. So the city's doing quite well, enjoying it so far. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day, or every other day, rather, at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.